what area of mathematics do you work in? I teach made uh, fresh daily. I just teach high school mathematics. My background is uh, geophysics, and I, I got a minor in mathematics, and I've been teaching math for like 20 years. Or if you do not actively work in one, which are you most interested in? You know what? I'm most interested in teaching math. Uh, I, I, I went a little into it, um, and I like the geophysics aspect. I like the hands-on aspects of the mathematics I was doing, right? Hence, geophysics and my work as a geophysicist. But once I started teaching mathematics, man, I won't go back to uh, there's there's really nothing else that I fancy to do, right? Very cool. Edging in next generation is a great pursuit. I love it, man. I I can honestly tell you when you change improve people's lives uh, kids lives that the centralized system has written off there's nothing like it the power you feel that you just gave another human being the opportunity uh, to live uh, is amazing I've been thinking about getting a math tutor because my algebra teacher uh, don't really teach do you recommend getting an older tutor or a high high school tutor who is one of my uh, brother's friends uh, captain hawk it's you might have to try different people right age is irrelevant um, their degree is irrelevant how long they've been doing it is irrelevant right you you'll know when you start working with the right person because the mathematics it'll just click with you right um, you can try your brother's friend okay maybe your brother's friend really wants to be a teacher and they're very passionate about it and you'll be their first student so they'll give you 120 percent right but if it doesn't work with a person look for someone else okay look for someone else as a mathematician with a bit of experience in tutoring, I think if you know of someone near your age who understands the subject well, then they will always be more effective in communicating with you than an older tutor. As you get older, this matters less, but I think it makes a significant difference until later high school, early university. Uh, oh, so you're talking uh, early education? elementary school education and stuff like this uh, it depends where you are it really depends where you are if you're getting someone to help you they as um, made fresh fresh daily mentions they have to know the material well ideally the best type of tutor to get if you're going around your age group is someone who's at least one grade or two grades above you because and they're good at math because that way they'll know how how what you're studying now relates to what they're doing so they might be able to plant seeds for the following years they'll be able to connect the dots right so that's really important as well i agree with chicho about that though it really does ultimately only matter if you click with their understanding or not in my experience that seems to happen more frequently with working with working uh, with someone closer to your age experience level yeah for me I can honestly tell you like I'm a like I'll I'm not gonna be humble I'm a phenomenal math teacher tutor right like phenomenal but even my success rate is not hundred percent I'm like 95 percent of people that I work with they look at mathematics by the time we're done in a completely different light in a more positive light all right but i don't mesh with everyone five percent right or ten percent so find the right person and never be be afraid to move from one teacher one tutor to another tutor right haha <laughs> chicho you really do have pretty good insight into math education i'm good at it man and you know why I'm good at it? Because I got angry, right? This is. Let me tell you why I'm good at it. 
I'm good at it because when I started, I just started tutoring just just as a hobby. Like I did a little bit in the 90s, right? Just as a hobby. And then I got really busy. And then I started up again in early 2000s, right? Like literally 2000, something like that, right? And when I started tutoring, I would have students, kids ask me questions. And I was like, I didn't know the answer. I just knew how to do it, but I didn't know why we did it right and then i started learning the whys i went home and i went online i started reading books and i tried to figure out why certain things were the way they were in mathematics that's when i really began to learn math understand math and that really got me pissed right because i went through high school and i took chemistry 12 physics 12 math 12 in high school in I took all the sciences except biology, right? I went to university, honors co-op, geophysics program with a minor in mathematics. And I only realized that I didn't really understand mathematics until I started teaching mathematics. And when I started finding out the reasons why we did certain things, math blew me away, right? And I got pissed because the education system had not taught me this. How is it possible that I was not taught this, right? and long story short 20 years later i'm still doing this making videos creating content and i plan on doing this until the end of my days because uh, uh, people need to be literate in the language of mathematics really uh, and it's for, for very selfish reasons i think one of the reasons that we're having so many problems in our societies is because people are illiterate in the language of mathematics and they're letting centralized power and authority fool them into signing their own death warrants right insanity insanity right that's my little rant i can't say i've ever had a great math teacher in my educational history most of mine have been pretty bad fast car the only math teacher that i could say was a great teacher was not because she taught mathematics well it was because she was an amazing human being and i had her in grade nine and she was like a you know four foot nun that just amazing human being right and she was just a great teacher i've never had a fantastic math teacher ever right very unfortunate but no math teacher i've, I've had has ever made me want to learn math more math only chicho has nice thanks for the compliment fast car <laughs> i can see why fast car he seems to look at it in a very few math teachers or or professors do and communicates that knowledge well ah oh, thank you for the compliments made fresh daily thank you for the compliments nyok 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 the three stooges for sure most math teachers i've had very clearly don't enjoy teaching it no and fast car i don't blame them there's a reason why i'm not teaching in a centralized education system right because i wouldn't last a week in there i'd be teaching stuff and centralized power would come tell me hey you can't teach that and i tell them to go f off and i get fired <laughs> i've just cut cut that crap out and just gone directly to teaching all right schools don't teach you what math is no they don't schools are teaching people monkey see monkey do right that being said it's very 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 important to make sure you have at least minimum your high school diploma right and if you really want to have freedom then you need to pursue something right maybe apprenticeship maybe educating yourself maybe people creating business you need to you need to learn as soon as you come out of high school uh, consider the next two years of your life education because you should you should be spending the next two years of your life when you come out of high school educating yourself aside from you know a month or two months of partying because you just got out of jail schools don't teach you i understand numbers better than letters but i'm my uh, techniques are unorthodox but effective cool as long as they work 
sleepy wave how is it that due to centralized education how is that due to centralized education because uh when you when you centralize power that central power becomes corrupt one of the reasons it becomes corrupt because the way you centralize power is basically s f directing a lot of funds from communities to the central location so anyone that wants a piece of that pie goes to the central location and it's easier to corrupt one person five people than it is a thousand right it's just mathematics really restrictive curriculum yeah among other things among other things like just uh, you know there's an i wish i had it handy there's an article that um richard Feynman wrote and it wasn't an article it was part of a book uh he wrote because richard Feynman, he, he was a american physicist one of the best best world renowned physicists in uh uh, from the united states he's world renowned right and he went on the school board um or the board of education where they were approving textbooks for all of california and he wrote about his experiment uh experience there right totally corrupt to the core to fix the education system administer Mountain Dew, among other things think of the common core system many states here in the u.s have yeah math is taught unit by unit and if a student falls behind in a certain unit they're left behind to fail yeah and our education system is based on age what like seriously how old is everyone here on this chat that we're talking right now we're spanning i'm 50 plus i know there are 40 somethings we might be here 30 somethings 20 something and teens right we're spanning 40 years and we're communicating sharing information there are things that i know better than you there are things that you know better than me there's things that you know that are better than someone else on chat so we share information and we learn together our centralized education system takes everybody and puts them in an age group if that was the case right now during the stream only 50 plus year olds could be on my stream ridiculous right we're getting some numbers here let's read out the numbers 23 46 21 18 22 awesome 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 where's the 30s at we need some 30 rep here <laughs> a 20 lima awesome right crazy centralized education destroys the love of learning yep that's one way of putting it as well just like organized religion destroys faith perfectly said right and the love is missing <laughs> Zuru, 573 87 <laughs> dot, 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 35 awesome we got 35s 30s representing my mother is a elementary school teacher and she went over all of math education they've revamped in california over the past few years with me it seems as bad if not worse than before yeah made fresh daily i've been doing this for 20 years on a permanent basis it's collapsed in the last 15 like totally collapsed in the last 15 just pure garbage i have seen this happen very sad yeah that's exactly right for sure it's happened to me as far as what was the link that i wanted to find you here let me see if i can find you the link i'm just going to my site i'm gonna uh, i'm just going to my site and uh, i went to the ed education folder right and uh excerpts from three articles here let me click on this i think this is it here here's a just a piece i compiled together and it's basically i call it excerpts from three articles on education dorothy sayers richard p Feynman, john taylor gatto okay and the article that i mentioned with richard Feynman writing about 
textbooks, how textbooks are chosen is in that. And John Taylor Gatto is always worth reading uh, regarding education. Uh, the other person is Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti on education. Education and the significance of life. At that time when I wrote that thing, I don't think I'd read Krishnamurti yet.